everybody and welcome to another episode of Adventures with Andy. I happen to have a crock pot full of hot water here from another dye session for another video I was just filming and the water's still hot so I thought what the heck why not grab another skin of yarn and let's just do some spur of the moment yarn dyeing. So, I have here a skein of Dyer Supplier 7525 Superwash Merino Nylon Fingering Weight Yarn. It is 415 yards and 100 grams, and it's dry. I have not soaked this um, because we are going to use this dye sock that we mixed up for our experiments in dyeing gray yarn. This is the one that we mixed up the purple that we mixed from the Wilton's blue and the Wilton's pink. Um, and it did, it did some confusing things because when I put the yarn in the dye bath with this to start with, it, the, the red, the pink struck first and it was a completely solid pink skein of yarn, um, both in the mason jar and then when we scaled up to the full tub for the large scale dyeing where it would have enough room for the yarn to move around to get more of a solid. But then when I added vinegar so that the blue could strike, which should turn it into a solid light purple, skein of yarn, we ended up with some sections that were purple and some sections that were blue. And that makes no sense to me because though the whole skein was already pink. And we know that red strikes faster. It was solid pink. The red was already in there. So there's no reason that I can think of for why suddenly pink yarn would just become blue. I can understand the other way, but I don't know. So today we're going to take a full skein of that same yarn and we're going to put it into the dye bath dry. Well, we're going to put it into a crock pot full of water that has vinegar in it already because this is just left over from the last yarn that I was setting. And we're going to put it in there dry so that Things will strike unevenly and we're going to pour a cup or if we really have slightly more than a cup of this Wilton's blue and pink mix over it and just let it do whatever it wants to do because I will admit when it did that blue and pink and purple streakiness just randomly on the skin it was actually it was really pretty so we're just going to go ahead and let it do its stuff today and see what prettiness we get. This is, as I said, this is, this water is hot. This is just what's left over from when I was setting um, some yarn. And it's got vinegar in it. It's hot. It should not have any dye left in it. It might, but if it does, it's going to be a minuscule amount. So I'm gonna go ahead and fluff out my dry yarn. I'm just making sure that the, the figure eight ties aren't too tight and aren't gonna create resist. Although if they do, I am not gonna be mad. And I'm just gonna go ahead and plop this in here. I should probably shake this up to mix it. I don't wanna turn it over. Okay, that's fine. Ah, see, it's I don't know what's up with these. And I don't even have a yarn mop today. Okay. A tiny little bit left. Just tiny. And just pour it in here, random and haphazard. Push the rest of the yarn down in here. 
I have no idea what sort of vehicle is apparently stopping right outside my house. They have an incredibly long driveway too, y'all. So I don't know. We're gonna let it sit here, bring it up to a simmer, and then I will just unplug the crock pot and let it cool down. Our water's not simmering yet, but it is very hot. And stop. Inanimate objects, y'all, they just like to mess with me. Um, but the water is very hot. This has been out here for about an hour. And our dye, our dye bath is essentially cleared. There is just the faintest, faintest hint of purple left in there. So I am going to pick this up. Oh, look at the other side though, y'all. Look at that blue. Give that plenty of access. Let's grab the last of that dye. And then this is a yarn mop we've been using for a while, you can tell. It's got a little bit of color in it, not a whole lot. It's just been kind of wiping everything up. Put that in there too. Grab any little extra dye. I'm gonna go ahead and unplug the crock pot and just let this cool down overnight. Then I can wash the yarn and let it hang up to dry. Knit up a swatch and I'll see y'all then. And here's our finished yarn. At this point, I am convinced that this dye is just messing with me because look, we have purple, we've got pink. Seriously, I don't know why the pink disappeared on those other skeins and didn't on this one. I, I don't know. In fact, this purple is a pinky purple. It leans toward pink, not towards blue. So I don't even know, but I think it turned out really cool. Got some nice pale blue, some pretty lavenders and pink purples. The blue's a little bit darker over here, um, just where I got some red in there, but not enough to shift it all the way to purple. And all in all, I think it's really pretty cool. It's a very random colorway. And of course, we've got our swatch, which I did the swatch a little bit different this time from normal. Usually I just do straight stock in it. This time I put um, garter stitch borders to try to keep it from rolling. You can see about how much that's working, working out for me. I don't know. It doesn't want to cooperate. I blame it all on that dye. But as you can see, it, it knits up a very random pattern. There's no striping or anything, and that's what you get when you do this sort of technique. But I think it's really pretty the way the pale blue mid, melts through with the purple and the pink. And we even get these little sort of stripes through here, but then we've got pooling in places. So I think it's really cool. I think it would make a really interesting project to knit this from. Definitely worth the quick, let's just Take some dye and some yarn and put it in a pot and see what happens. Definitely worth that. Stay flat. And it says no. Seriously, y'all, inanimate objects. And in case you're curious about any fading, since this is food coloring that we're dyeing with, this skein and the swatch have been hanging up on a peg in my office for a few weeks now while I've been working on other adventures that you have seen and if not go subscribe turn on notifications so you don't miss them they are uploaded on the channel um but yeah there's been no fading whatsoever if there was we would see a difference in the color saturation between these two sides and we don't there's no fading anyway i hope you had fun watching me dye this random colorway if you did be sure to click on like and make and leave me a comment let me know what you think about this yarn or if you have any ideas why the pink completely disappeared when we tried this in our experimenting with dyeing gray from food colorings video and in this one we still have plenty of pink in it 
If you got any ideas, drop me a comment below. I would be really interested. Anyway, I hope you had fun and I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you on our next adventure. Bye.